Hi everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Uh, it's been a long while, and uh, we are here. We've had so many activities on uh, Mars Mind, but thank God we are back on board. Here before us, we have a challenge before us. The question says x factorial is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 377x. What is the possible value of x? How do we solve for x? By trial and error method, you can easily get the value of x. But here now, I want to show you how to solve for your um, x systematically. Okay, with that being said, if you knew yet, this is all I must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. So let's go straight to today's challenge without much waste of time. So take a selection, selection. Okay, so from this question here, which is your x factorial is equal to x to the power of 4, the plus 377 x right good now we all know the definition of factorial right for instance if we have um if we have your n factorial this is simply you have your n into your n minus one then into your n minus two okay so if we keep decreasing down 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 until you get to uh, let's say your uh, three okay times two there times one, right? Okay, so we all know this, right? Okay. So it also implies that if you have your uh, two factorial, this will give us here two times one. And if you have three factorial, this will give us two, sorry, three, okay? Three times two times one, okay? Da, 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 da. So if we bring this definition of factorial to this sixth term of our equation here, so we can easily rewrite this expression. So here it's going to give us something of your x bracket, your x minus 1 plus bracket factorial. This is equal to, all we need to do is to factor out x from this expression here. Because x is common, so we have here this will give us x to the power of 3 plus 377 plus our bracket. All right, so at this point, what do we do? We discover that here we are having x, here we are having x. So x will cancel out x from this other side. So we we'll have our expression to be your x minus 1 factorial. This is equal to bracket x to the power of 3 plus 377. Seven. Okay, so what do we do next here now? You think it's becoming easier? So we bring in another alphabet to represent the quantity we have inside here. So we can bring in y. So from here, let's see. We say let our y be equal to your x minus one. Here we are having x to the power of three. So we want to look for the value of x from here. So if we make x the subject of the formula here, we move this one to this other side. So therefore, we can equally have your x is equal to y plus 1. Okay, so let's substitute these values into this expression we have in here. The left-hand side is going to give us here y factorial is equal to what we have here. We are having x to the power of 3. And look at the value of x here. So we're going to have here automatically y plus 1 all to the power of 3 plus 377. Easy. All right, so at this point now, how do we get the value for our y? The only thing we have to do here, or the only way out, is to use the trial and error method. So now we take a look at this figure here. If we try 2 factorial to 3 to 4 to 5, that will not work out. Because this figure alone is above 5 factorial. We know 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is your 120. So we try from 6 and above. So what is 6 factorial? 6 factorial, if we put in 6 here, that will give us 720. So all we need to do is to put 6 here, add 1 to it, to give us 7. So we now have 7 to the power of 3. And that will give us um, 343. And we add this to 377, we give us 720. Okay, so using the trial by error method, this will give us here your y 
is equal to your 6. So we can confirm that from here. So this will now give us here 6 factorial. This is equal to your 6 plus 1 to the power of 3. The plus 3, 7, 7. Then from here, this will give us 720. This is equal to your 7 to the power of 3 plus 3, 7, 7. Again, this will now give us 720 equal to uh, 7 to the power of 3. We give us a uh, 343, 343 plus your 377, which will eventually give us 720. So now that we've gotten the value of y to be 6, okay, from here we've gotten the value of y to be 6. Now we now recall that we said somewhere here that let y be equal to what? x minus 1. So we now call it and say recall. So we have to recall that our y is equal to your x minus 1. So we'll solve this to be 6. So we have this to be minus 1. Therefore, our x will now be equal to what? 7. And that is what we are asked to look for in this expression here now. Okay? That is what we are asked to look for in this expression. So we can go ahead to check if um, 7 will actually satisfy this equation. So let's take here check. So let's check out here. So our expression, we have your x factorial equal to x to the power of 4 plus 377 of x. Okay, so solve our x to be 7. So we're going to have this to be 7 factorial is equals to 7 to the power of 4 plus your 3, 3, sorry, 3, 7, 7 times your uh, 7. 7 factorial will automatically give us um, 5. 1040. So we have here to be 5040. This is equal to 7 to the power of 4. This was 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 to 4 places. And we know that that will give us 2401 plus your 377 times 7. That will give us 2639. So if we simplify that, we're going to have 504. 0 is equal to, if we add up this, this will give us 5040. 0. Okay, so that shows that our answer x is equal to 7 is very correct. Okay, so the challenge or the problem x factorial equal to x to the power of 4 plus 377x. Okay, so I know this is a very simple challenge, however simple it may be. You must have learned one or two things from this challenge. Give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.